Here we have Logan. He's the boss piggy. He's an American smooth coat. He's 1,100, almost 1,200 grams. And he's a little over a year old. This is his top bunk with his little ramp. You gonna come down? You gonna come down? Are you gonna stay in here? Come on, Papa. Come on, Papa. His little ramp. Say hi. Then, if you can see, we have a buster. He's a little, almost a year. He's almost 1,500 grams. He's my shy piggy. Even though he's my bigger piggy, he's my shy piggy. He's got a little Valentine's Day little mailbox that I got from the Dollar Tree. And we cut it and made it a tunnel. And we have their little camera over here and a little wood block so they can chew on. Another little ball, a little toy, a tunnel because this one loves tunnels. And I just cleaned this cage. As you can see, he's moving everything out the way. There's another tunnel. And here's Logan, who's begging for a snack, as always. I just gave him a pea flake, and he wants another one. He just had your veggies. And a little stool right here. Another little Heidi. I try to give him Heidi's all around. Like, Logan really doesn't need it, because he's just, he's not really scared. But this guy, Buster, I'm still working on him. Let me see, he might run for me. I just slowly pet him and he kind of freezes. Mommy's here. But Logan, he's just like a little, he's just a little troublemaker. Hello, see I'm not a troublemaker. I'm Buster, hi Boo Boo. Look at that nose, look at that nose. We just had a cage clean today. So then we have a water bottle and a bowl that doesn't move so that when they eat their pellets and a little oxbow mat. That's where I put their veggies on. They get a cup of veggies a day, so I give them a whole cup in the morning and a whole cup in the afternoon. Two cups equals one cup a piece. And they have their glass water bottle and I only put bottled water, I don't use sink water. And here's another bottle and another, another same type of dish because if you know with boys, you gotta have two of everything. And then I got this little mat from the dollar for Family Dollar for two bucks. Um, it's just easier to scoop up the bedding and the hay that they sometimes get messy over there. And then this this teal and this red tray, they're both from the Dollar Tree, a dollar people. Um, and I put the cake in each one, like this one, this one, this is the KT paper bedding. So this, these two baskets are also from Dollar Tree. So I just cut holes in them because they were wasting their hay just like sleeping on it. And I was like constantly repl replenishing it, which is okay. But I think they were like laying in it and peeing on when they were eating it. So I got these two baskets. So far they've been working. Um, so Logan has one, Buster has one or whichever one. But as they're eating the hay, um, they've become very trained to go potty. So they do most of their peeing in the in the in the bedding, and I change it every two days. But of course, they'll still pee on the fleece, which is okay. And as everybody knows, guinea pigs poop all day long, so I I spot clean every day. Um, the all these fleece liners here, I made myself. I actually taught myself off YouTube. Uh, I just I just kind of I'm a single chick with my two pigs, and going to school and working and piggies. I just I couldn't afford to pay the $70 for the nicer fleece fleece uh, liners. Cause they, the, people, uh, the people that do those do an amazing job. So I just, I had to learn myself. So I just get random like fleece from Walmart and it's always on, if you ask, I'm really, I'm really not good. I guess I say for good friends, but the fabric lady at Walmart, she knows me and she knows my piggies always show her pictures. So whenever I go to Walmart and she's there, She'll show me what fle fleeces on Clarence, like, you know, 50 cents a foot. And I don't think the piggies mind if they have pink fleece. Because sometimes I have, like, girly fleece. But they're okay. How can they tell? Like, pink here and pink here. They don't care. But, um, and I get the U-Haul bedding that you can get from, like, the U-Haul place, the furniture pad. And put it in between. So, because that's, what are you doing over there? He's tripping again. <laughs> He's happy. Say, new pump, new cage clean. He gets excited when I clean the cage. Um, who's licking me? Oh, hello, well, hello, Logan. Say hi to the people. They just want my attention all day long. But anywho, 
Guys, I don't have a snack. The, the furniture padding is in between like a sandwich. So whenever they pee on the fleece, the um, U-Haul, the U-Haul lining sucks it in. I, I learned I learned all this off YouTube, honestly, guys. And this is my first video. And I learned a lot from Skinny Pigs 1. And I love Scotty's Animals. And I love LA, um, LA Guinea Pig Rescue. I watch those videos faithfully because I have learned from research that vets and pet stores do not always tell you the correct information. So those are the three people, I, three channels I swear by. Scotty's Animals. Um, skinny Pigs one, and I love LA Guinea Pig Rescue, Saskia, oh, she does an amazing job. I love watching her videos. But anywho, this is it. This is everything. Oh, and I got a camera, 25 bucks from Walmart. It, um, records live. It can record. It's live. I'm sorry. It's live motion detector, and you can actually speak from your phone. It's like an app on your phone. You can speak through the speaker. It doesn't sound, I mean, you could... It doesn't sound like the clearest, but the guinea pigs know. Like I'll, sometimes I'll call them, and they kind of are freaked out. So I don't do that anymore because I don't want to freak them out. But it's good to just be able to watch them. I like to watch them when I'm at work because they're my babies. Or if I'm going somewhere for a day, I need to check on them. I don't leave them more than a day. If I ever have to leave them more than that, I'll either take them with me because we have a travel playpen. And they're pretty good in the car. They, they're used to it. I go to see my brother who is about two hours away sometimes and my niece. And I do not want to leave them here, so they go with me. And these grids, the, the CNC grids, I actually bought another set, and I use zip ties. So as you can see, they're like flat squares. And the zip ties, when I did it, I can fold them to where it's flat, and I just carry that in a big old carry-on bag. And then I don't even put them in a um, pet carrier. I put them in like in a big plastic container that's open because they like to see me, and they want, they don't want to feel like. I know most guinea pigs like to be hidden and covered, but they like it that way. And I put like a police blanket in there. And usually Logan will just sit and lay on the side. This is Logan and chill. Buster sometimes because he's a little scared. He'll go underneath the blanket. But they're good. And then I put a little bit of treats in there, like some cucumber. And then I put their, set their cage up. And they're good. They're happy as long as they're with me. I, I feel like if I was to leave them, they would be sad. Even if I had someone like come feed them twice a day, make sure they have water. They like to be with me. I noticed one time I left before, these guys, especially this one, had a little attitude with me. Because they're drama queens, so let's be real. Especially this one. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Boston. Look at Boston. We got a whole other story on this guy. They each have their own story. But this guy right here has been through H-E-L-L and back. Surgeries, everything. Me, me getting up three hours before work and making sure he's syringe fed, make sure he has medications. He was all the way down to a 700, 750 grams and was slowly losing. I was so scared. But now he's almost 1,200. We got him back up. That's a whole other story time. I'll tell that later. Huh, Logan? See, I'm a brave piggy. Huh? And you're a brave piggy too. They both have little stories. But I'm glad I was able to get them and save them. And I never thought that I would actually like a guinea pig. I'm not saying that. I love all animals, honestly. But I never thought that I would be so attached and close to a guinea pig. They really do have their own personalities. And they, they're just very caring animals. Like, they're not sassy. Um, they're not <sighs> aggressive. They're just really sweet. If anything, they're scared sometimes. But you just build their trust up. You just let them know. I built their trust. Well, Logan was pretty much scared of me all the time. Because I had got when he was a little, little baby. But then he built trust in me. I would sit down in this playpen with him every day. Huh. And just let him sniff me, let him climb on me. Buster didn't take as long. But I, I had, I got him second. But he's, um, he's still a little scared. But I also think that might be because he's a more timid pig. Because Logan is the boss pig. When I did the introduction, Logan totally took over. But after 30 minutes, they were both laying next to each other eating and and just taking a nap so it worked i was lucky that it worked out pretty good all right i'm gonna end this video it took me 10 minutes say bye buster say bye bye say see ya logan are you gonna tell your story next video are you going to tell you where are you going are you going to tell your story next video huh you want to tell it say oh the piggies 
This is my boo boo right here. He's a little baby. He wants some snack, but we won't give him one. We gave him one already. You gotta be careful with the snacks. So they eat the snacks a lot. If you give it to them, then they don't want to eat their hay. And they have to eat their hay every day, unlimited, because it's very important for their teeth, guys. So treats are okay every once in a while. Unlimited hay, and I give my piggies vitamin C. Um, child's life vitamin C every day. No, I give it to them every other day because they get fresh vegetables. But yeah, they gotta have that hay so they don't get any teeth problems. That's painful and that's a whole nother issue. Say bye. Say bye now, kid. Say bye bye. Say see you next time, guys. Say bye, Buster. Say bye. See you next time. Pop piggies.